Real Talk Radio. Here we go. State Affairs with Edmond Obilo is live. Stay tuned. What did you see that night? Tell me. I saw horror. Horror? Horror. Where were you? We were sleeping like any other citizen would sleep at that hour. What time? It started all around 11 p.m. And you started seeing at what point? It, 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 it came suddenly with explosion, gunshot, and all sorts. And it was, the right definition is horror. Horror. Mm. Your children were there. People were scrambling. Elderly people running into the bush in the dead hour, wee hours. It was, it was unimaginable. I learned the attack started from your end. It started just like that suddenly nobody emphasized it nobody ever thought you know it was it was a lively town that everybody you know or you, like any other or your, or your town we enjoy life we slept like normal people we uh, waiting for the money to come people going their duties going for all their functions and not but before the money never came in a very good state people were expecting it did they come in large numbers? Very large number. Very, very large number. Did they come with AK-47? They came with... If there is something more than AK-47, they came with it. They operated for how many hours? They operated for over four hours on him that nobody showed up to rescue except the local militia, the hunters that stood up and many paid ultimate price because of standing up. Meanwhile, you and your family were in the bush. Everybody scrambled because it, it, it took a dimension that as they were burning, as they were robbing, as they were maiming people, they set one uh, gas station uh, on, uh, on fire and, you know, the gas cylinder, it was exploding. People thought it's even bomb that they came with bomb uh, these cylinders were exploding at the highest stand you everywhere in the town you will be hearing the sound boom it was so much who are they they were the fulanese you are sure yes sir because the local hunter they stood up and they, you know when they killed some of them they got some of them and they displayed them and uh, they did not allow anybody to go with the dead bodies until they said the governor must come and see it was when the commission of police came that they released and the pictures were there people have the pictures and you know you know full and when you see them how the children and women react after the attack <laughs> uh, 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 we pray there will be no war in nigeria where it has been in the 70s, you, 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 there are some things that should not play out with children. I wouldn't know if after all of this thing, there will not need, be need for uh, psychological... Uh, a lot of things has gone... You know, children that should not wake up to hear something like this. In a country that we have a president... We have a governor, we have a local government chairman. You know, these children, we are exposing them to, to so many things that are beyond their ages. And uh, so many of them, uh, I, I, for example, till now, they are not going back to their schools as it's now. Many of the parents have withdrawn their children from school thinking that these people that can come in that way hour to do they can do anything and you know what it means for anybody to lose his or a child uh, of uh, a child so, I, I, I saw the gruesome pictures it is so yeah. bad i hope i could paint it as much as it is yeah i'm still struggling to do it
Bush Radio. Bush Radio. Bush, 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 Bush Radio. Your Real Talk Radio.